Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. I wanted to share with you, I, I'm actually going to start sharing every single week the video critique of the week. Like one video critique that I do that I think will really, really help you. Every single Monday at DrawingTutorialsOnline.com, we've been doing this since like 2008, uh, 2009 perhaps, I think I started the video critiques. Uh, we spend about the entire Monday, three hours plus, you know, doing video critiques. And uh, this is our video critique gallery. And you, every member can upload a drawing to the gallery. And we do a video critique of them. And it usually winds up being about uh, three chapters. So I just wanted to share this uh, with you guys. So I, I actually had it on the homepage right there. I just want to share two critiques with you. Really, really, really important. Yeah, this is, this is our video critique page every Monday. You can upload paintings. You can upload drawings, whatever you want to upload. But check out these two video critiques. They're all about light and shade. And I think they're really, really going to help you because I, I think some of the things that people really miss out on is that big shadow shape. All right, look for one of these every week. I think they're really going to help you with your drawings and your paintings. Let's get to it. Thanks for watching. All right, so you obviously can draw. You obviously can render. You got a good technique with the pencil. You have a great attention to detail. All of that is working really, really well. What I would encourage you to do is to try to add a little bit more uh, or let me say that a different way, put a little bit more emphasis on the light and shade hitting the character and to eliminate some of the lights in the shadow. So if I look at the photo, and, and so I'm coming from a place where you would, I'd pay a little bit more attention to the photo. Now some people would say, oh, that's not art. Uh, then you're just copying the photo. But I, I just want to come from this, that place uh, for the sake of just the, the teaching purposes, okay? So there is this really definitive, and I, I'm, I'm so not saying that you're gonna draw this dark line. I'm just showing you what, what I'm looking at. So, on that side, that is the egg shape of his head. That's the shadow side. Now then this becomes a front plane. It's catching light. So let's come up with the egg shape. And now on the big picture, let's just look at the big picture. This is the light. So if you if there's any way that you could combine more of the big picture light and shade with your rendering techniques. So you see what you're doing over here? You have like a couple lights here and that's destroying the shadow. You have a little bit of a reflected light over here destroying the shadow. This might be a, a touch too light over there. Too light up over here. And then I also think that you're doing this a touch in the hands So let me ask you a question. This is the lightest part of his hands. And yes, that's a little light there too. But this, this and this should not be as light as this. So it, it, it's just, it's putting those reflected lights in, in their proper value structure. So the long and short of it is pretty much this. This whole side of his body is just going to be darker. Period. Now I know that's easy. 
easy for me to do in Photoshop, not easy to do in, with a pencil. But you see what that just did to your piece? It just gave it so much more volume on the head. And then you could, if you wanted to, do a reverse gradation. So then your background is darker there and a little bit lighter over there. And then the head jumps off the piece like there's no tomorrow. And it doesn't have to be so obvious. Like there could be a little bit of a gradation over here. And yeah, you can lose an edge here. A lot of rendering with the pencil. I understand that. Now, of course, what I'm doing here, it, all the values are messed up because I'm not being really nice and neat with it. I'm just giving you a little bit more uh, theory. But you got to you gotta look at that light and shade. Okay? So this whole side of his coat, I'm just going to do the light side. This is the light side of his coat over here, and then maybe a touch there, but then the whole rest of it is the side plane of his body and cast shadow. So that just get see what that does to his coat. Oh my goodness gracious, he just becomes like a round man now. And then this is turning under. So the, you, you're a master at the detail, but the detail's got to be subservient to the big form. And the big form is, okay, uh, which, uh, which direction is the light coming from? And then do I see shadows? And you, you got good taste in picking the right reference. Very nice. Suzanne. Yeah, I love the Taken movies. The first one was the best. The daughter. Don't you just want to, like, scream at the daughter when she went on that trip? <laughs> we were all like, you idiot. Don't go. Don't go. Um, it was It was pretty funny. Yeah, but yeah, he's he's the dad that he's the type of dad you'd want to have when when the poop goes down. I can just hear the guy talking now. All right. So, Suzanne you know, you managed to get his likeness without getting the shape of his head, which is pretty impressive. So here's what I want to encourage you to add on to this drawing. Now, normally when I do the critiques, I say, okay, this is for the next one. But I think you're in a good place here where you can add on to this drawing and you're not going to ruin it. So wh what exactly am I talking about? You already have it all set up. I'm just going to go over what you already set up for me. Okay, so... I'm going to just start from there. That's a little arbitrary, but this is not arbitrary. So we're going to come back up around the top of his eye, down his eyelid, around the cheekbone. Okay, so now we're going to This ear is higher than his brow. In my opinion, I would consider shading the whole side plane of his head. And you can do it <clears throat> with a diagonal pencil stroke. Just like that.
That's now I went too high with his hair. Okay. So don't go by that. And, and the whole top of his hair, just the whole shape of his hair just needs to be the darker value. And make sure we know where the bottom of his goatee is because that is the length of his head. We need to, you you need to show the viewer how tall his head is. Like he's a, he's got he's a tall dude. Like he's six something, and you're making his head too short and round, right? Um, and then here's the kicker: you got to really show this underplane, his hair there can't really see his hair in the shadow it's it's very dark jaw so just clean some of this up i i didn't get the right angles over here by far i didn't get them but you see what that just does? That, 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 that just changed everything. And, and, and technically, it all still needs to be a value darker. But I'm being very conservative. You could do this. This is just, you, you do a little bit at a time. So you do one layer with a diagonal pencil stroke, and you're like, oh, I ruined it. No, just do it a little bit at a time. Get the side plan of the head. Don't do try to do it all in, in like one sitting. Do a little bit. Stand up. Look at the drawing from far away. Then say, well, no, it still needs to be darker. Um, I, I would even still try to, to do the shape of the hair dark first and then do this line. Okay. We can even do it right here. And then there's the little lights. These would be half tones. That's a half tone. But this is the main line that separates the light from the dark. The goatee is just screwing it up a little bit. This this whole eye socket is a shadow. Okay. Okay. 